Okay, so we are moving on in lesson uh, 49A, and we're just going to do this side today, and we'll do the other side in tomorrow's lesson. So, um, we need a ruler, and we're going to use the centimeter side of your ruler. Make sure you line up your ruler at the zero mark at the edge of your um, ruler. And you can see that the short side, the width, is five centimeters. And because it's a rectangle, this side is also five centimeters. Centimeters have two shorter sides, two longer sides. So we know these two sides are equal. We want to double check it and measure it anyway. And then um, we're going to measure the, uh, the longer sides in centimeters as well. And we can see that that is 20 centimeters. And double check the other side, but it should be the same. So you have 20, 20, 5, and 5. So today's lesson is all about something called perimeter. A perimeter is basically the border around a shape. So this is the perimeter. And if you think about God has perimeters for us, right? The Bible teaches us to stay within God's word, his, um, his ways, right? And that's a good place to be. Once we step out of his border, his perimeters, then that's when we start having consequences and there's um, consequences for our actions and disobedience. So we want to obey his word and stay in his perimeter, his border. Um, but how do we find the actual number for perimeters? Um, we add all the sides together. So what we, they do is they say length plus width plus length plus width. And they shorten it with L's and W's. So perimeter equals length plus width plus length plus width. So how would we add that up? Now we're going to use this line down here at the bottom of that rectangle and write out perimeter equals 20 centimeters plus 5 centimeters plus 20 centimeters plus 5 centimeters. So 20 and 20 make 40 and 5 and 5 make 10. So 40 plus 10 is 50. So this is 50 centimeters. And we do a little cm four centimeters abbreviation. All right, this shape is uh, not a rectangle, right? It is a square, at least it looks like a square. So go ahead and um, uh, measure in centimeters all the sides, just to double check that it really is a square. If it's true square, all the sides will be the exact same length. And that is exactly what happened. They're all 10 centimeters. So we're going to add up all the sides. 10 centimeters plus 10 centimeters plus 10 centimeters plus 10 centimeters equals 10, 20, 30, 40 centimeters. So that's what you should have on that paper. All right, we're going to save the other side for tomorrow. Bye.